Types of polygons. Polygons are closed figures with three or more straight sides. This shape is a polygon because it's a closed figure with three straight sides. This shape is also a polygon. It has six straight sides. This shape is not a polygon because it's not a closed figure. One side is open. This shape is not a polygon because it doesn't have straight sides. Polygons are classified by the number of sides they have. A three-sided polygon is called a triangle. There are several different types of triangles, like acute triangles and equilateral triangles, but all triangles are three-sided polygons. A four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral. There are also several types of quadrilaterals, like trapezoids, parallelograms, and rectangles, but all quadrilaterals are four-sided polygons. A five-sided polygon is called a pentagon. A six-sided polygon is called a hexagon. A seven-sided polygon is called a heptagon. An eight-sided polygon is called an octagon. A nine-sided polygon is called a nonagon. And a ten-sided polygon is called a decagon. Let's review. Polygons are closed figures with three or more straight sides. Polygons are named by the number of sides they have. A three-sided polygon is a triangle. If it has four sides, it's a quadrilateral. Five sides is a pentagon. Six sides is a hexagon. Seven sides is a heptagon. Eight sides is an octagon. Nine sides is a nonagon, and ten sides is a decagon. Regular versus irregular polygons. Regular polygons have congruent, which means equal, sides and angles. Irregular polygons do not. Let's take a look at some regular versus irregular polygons. Here we have a regular triangle. It has congruent sides and congruent angles. This is an irregular triangle. The sides and angles are not congruent. They are not equal. Here's a regular quadrilateral and some irregular quadrilaterals. A regular pentagon and irregular pentagons. A regular hexagon, irregular hexagons. A regular heptagon, Irregular heptagons. A regular octagon. Irregular octagons. Regular nonagon. Irregular nonagons. And finally, a regular decagon versus irregular decagons.